In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to Twixter in After Effects. So I'm going to go over this pretty fast. So um, it's going to be a super short tutorial. Now, the first thing is if this is your clip, then what you want to do is basically uh, pre comp it first. So you want to click Control Shift and C on your keyboard, then hit the bottom one right there. Click OK. Now we've done that. Now you want to open up the timer map. So click Control Alt and T on your keyboard and you will um, see this. So here we want to uh, keyframe or put a keyframe on every frame that moves. So um, this is a freeze frame, this one and yeah, this one moves. So when it uh, keyframe that and you can move further or back with page up and page down on your keyboard. So you're, you're going to click on this again. This frame moves, this frame moves. This frame moves, this frame moves, this frame moves. And you're going to keep doing that till you have done that uh, for every frame. And once you've done that, it should probably look like this. We have keyframed every frame. You want to delete the last frame. And now what you want to do is simply move all these frames to the left like so. And once you've done that, it would look like this. And now every frame moves. So you want to go to the last keyframe, go one after it and cut the clip like this. Then once again, pre comp the clip with Control Shift and C, hit OK. And now you want to add your Twixter. Now, Twixter's on the clip and you simply want to just copy all these settings. Uh, just so just do that real quick, pause the video and then um, go ahead with the video again. Um, and here you want to pre comp it again like this. And now we have the Twixter clip. And if you open up the timer map with Control Alt and T again, you can make it as long as you want. So I'm just going to um, make it 15 seconds right now. So I'm going to do that. And here uh, I'm just going to press F, uh, select both of these keyframe, press F9 on my keyword to um, easy ease it. Then just open up the uh, graph editor by clicking on this button and then go to the uh, value graph. Then just do a simple graph like so. Something like this should be fine. And then um, after that, your clip would look like this. And as you can see, this is super clean. Every single frame moves and the clip is even longer, like twice as long as it was before. And it's super clean. So yeah, that's basically it. I hope this quick video helped you out. Please leave a like and let me know in the comments if it works. And I'll see you next time. Have a good day.